So this one is um, probably going to get the most attention. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so tips for people in a marriage that were already struggling and have found themselves together in the same house 24 seven. Holy crap. Holy crap. Right? Can, like can that's amazing. That's, that's gotta be really, really tough. Yeah, it is. Can you imagine it, around the world, you know, we're focusing on this country right now, but in the United States, the number of men and the number of women who travel and leave mm -hmm. on Monday morning and come home on Friday afternoon, who are now living in a house together with their spouse and their children. Oh, and every kid they ever and, knew. Right, absolutely. Yeah. 24 hours a day. Right. And it is struggling. And last night on the local news here in Houston, uh, domestic violence uh, has nothing to do with socioeconomic status. Across the board has increased 81% this year since January the 1st. Whoa. And that was from the Houston Police Department last night. And... And it's just that simple. So people are, are people are forced to be together right now that really don't know each other, right? And we're oh, really I, learning who listen, we are. Listen, <laughs> if real estate goes goes to the you know yeah. side, I told my girlfriend, I said, I'm going to get my law degree. I'm going to be a divorce attorney. And, you know, I've got business just lined up out, you know. The courthouses are going to be packed and yeah. backed up. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so what can they do yeah. to... I don't know. I'm going to stick with the, the word I love most in therapy is communicate, is to talk about it and to say, honey, damn, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have not been together. You are on the road four and five days a week, and now we're together. It's hard for me, and I know it's hard for you. And, and, and break out a board game and play some games and do things to get to know each other again because people are not – we're forced together right well now. and even if yeah. like a like you saying the couple that is just because of their positions or whatever they yeah. do they're not together a lot that does that's even people that aren't having right. marital trouble so yeah. you know even i think anyone in any type of relationship mm -hmm. is really having yeah. to think okay how can we get through this right yeah. Um, with the same number of people. We're struggling. <laughs> we are struggling across the board and, and especially in relationships right now. You know, new couples that met right before this aren't getting to spend time together. People that are dating for a while are sometimes stuck together, right? And, and marriages were stuck together, not stuck together, but kind of stuck together, right? Yeah. We're, we're, we're in the same house 24 hours a day, many of us. Uh, I'm fortunate because I get to get up and go to work every day yes. because I'm in healthcare. But talk about it, get yourself some space, go out and exercise, communicate, 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 play board games, uh, call your friends, talk about how your best friend is getting along with her husband or his husband or his wife or what have you. Do you have anything? Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of times people say, I have to make a decision right now. This feels so untenable. I can't take it. I'm out of here. I'm getting a divorce. I'm calling an attorney. Now I know. <laughs> uh, I, I they say just just you don't have to make any decisions today. Just honor that it's a difficult time. Keep in mind, a lot of times before people get ready to retire, they spend a couple of years talking about what it's going to be like and what are we going to do with our time and if it's going to be an empty nest situation. Maybe we're going to do some downsizing, but people usually had a chance to prepare. This caught people off guard. They didn't have a chance to to make really any plans. They're also cut off from their support systems, so like you can go out and play golf or something with someone. Mm -hmm. So don't feel like you have to come to some final conclusions about your relationship. Um, give each other some space. I think the other thing that happens is a chance to practice saying, uh, I'm sorry. That's mm -hmm. difficult for most people. It's oh, difficult yes. for me to make an apology and mean it. But it's a chance to practice. I'm right. sorry. I know I must be on your nerves. I was <laughs> this morning. Please forgive me. I'm doing right. the best I can. Uh, and maybe we'll all get in the practice of being able to apologize a little bit more easily. And then when this is over, we'll have less war. Who knows? Yeah. yeah.